Hi, I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pretty circle skirt for twirling. My free sewing pattern will fit many 9 inch dolls, including Mattel's modern Stacy doll, vintage Skipper dolls, and a number of other dolls in this size range. But before we begin, please go to ShellyWood.com to download this free printable PDF sewing pattern. Use your pattern to cut out both pieces shown here. Note that I have cut an opening in my circle and I've used pinking shears to prevent fraying. Set your waistband against the hole in the middle of your skirt, keeping what we call right sides together if you have fabric that has right and wrong sides. Stitch the waistband to the skirt, keeping right sides spacing. So that's what I'm doing here. This is the small circle in the middle and I'm just stitching that waistband to it. Flip up the waistband like that. Now I'm going to call these the first set of stitches. Lay the skirt flat like you see in this photo. The skirting will be a bit ruffled and that's actually okay. Fold the waistband once and then a second time. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to fold that waistband once and then a second time. And whip stitch along the waistband's edge hiding the first set of stitches under that waistband. Now your skirt looks like this. Take one side of the opening area in hand and fold the pinking shear edge under just once. So all the way around the bottom of the skirt. Now again, we're looking at the wrong side here. You may wish to use your sewing machine for this or sew it by hand with a simple straight stitch. Now I'm going to add a swatch of eyelet to mine, but you could use other decorative edges too. Flip your skirt over to the right side. Attach your decorative edge under the fabric edge hiding it under the single fold hem as you go. I'm basting my eyelet trim to the edge by hand because a base stitch goes pretty fast and I have more control to hide that rough edge between my single fold hem and my eyelet swatch. Okay, so you can see I'm kind of tucking it in before I continue the baste. I also gather my eyelet wherever necessary to keep it from bunching as I sew around. Now my skirt looks like this from the right side and like this from the wrong side. Stitch the eyelet in place with top stitching. Take one of the skirt's openings in hand and create a double fold hem by folding the fabric once and then a second time, turning toward the wrong side. Maintain a double fold hem all along this closure area. Whip stitch from the eyelet to the waistband. Do this both down both back closure areas and now add snaps to the back for a, a, a closure. Now to make the poodle skirt variation, it's the same skirt, but go back to the step where we began our hem and instead of doing the single fold hem, what you're gonna do is a double fold hem. 
using a whip stitch. Now this is going to make the skirt slightly shorter, but not bad. Some sewists might call this a rolled hem. Hem all the way around the skirt, just like you did before. And use the pattern that I give you to cut out a poodle shape from felt. Stitch the poodle shape directly on the skirt. I placed my poodle at what you might call 5 o'clock. Try to align the paws with the hem as best you can. Add snaps down the back for a closure, just like we did before. And now you're ready to try the skirt on a doll. She is so cute. She loves her skirt. For more free printable sewing patterns, for dolls of many shapes and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos and my free patterns, please share them on social media. It actually helps my website grow when you help spread the word.